the sixth lesson Hadihi 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 so this lesson my brothers is to introduce the concept of the feminine gender and this uh, idea has actually already been introduced in a dose of Rabi' and that is referring to something which is feminine <clears throat> we had some new vocabulary a couple of lessons ago which was for example a sa'atu a watch and if I'm not mistaken a thalajatu fridge and also there were the, the proper nouns Fatimatu and the other names Khadijatu and we learned in that lesson that when you're referring to something which is Mu'annath Mu'annath being feminine Mu'annath then we refer to it by saying Hiya Hiya, she and in this lesson you have another way to refer to something which is feminine which is and that is Hadihi as opposed to what you learn in Ad-Darsul Awwalu the first class Hava 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 and Hadihi so these two they complement each other and they are the equivalent of this in English and sometimes these also so this Hada Babun this is a door Hada Kursiyo this is a chair and Hadihi also Hadihi as you can see in the picture Sayyaratun Hadihi Sayyaratun this is a Sayyara a car okay, let's go to some of these images if I'm not mistaken we actually started some of this class last lesson am I right Akhi Muzami? Taib So, the most important thing to learn in this class is the new vocabulary because all of the other, uh, the, the, let's say the word combinations and the sentence combinations, they all match that which you have already uh, picked up on and learnt. So therefore, the, this is it's like a revision lesson, it's like a practice class for that which has passed whereby you can uh, practice those the sentence constructions or the constructs but this time using not only new vocabulary but also the the mu'annath gender the feminine gender okay so here we have to begin with the revision of hadha ism ishara and this alif which is called Hamzatul Wasl, which is that alif when it appears in the middle of a of a string of words. You don't pronounce it, you jump straight over it and go to the very next letter. So in this case you will not say Hadha Ibnu Hamidin, rather you will say Hadabnu Hamidin. And in this case you will say, and this is the first time this word is being introduced, Hadihi. And even though you can't see uh, a mud after the letter ha, it is pronounced. So over here you say uh, there's a mud over here that you can't see. Alif ha di e. So this is the pronunciation. After the ha is ha di e. Okay, ha di e. That's the pronunciation of the ism ishara. Uh, for Mu'annaf Al-Mufrad Ayyub Hadha ibn Hamidin Wa hadhihi bintu Yasirin Can someone tell me why Bint only has one Dhamma even though there's no Alif or Lam Because it is Mudaf Barakallahu Feek 
and why does ER say then have a kasra or two kasras on it? Why is it majroor? It is majroor because Correct, in, in, in anticipation of a correct answer. Yes, it is waiting for it to come through. Mudafun ilayhi. Mudafun ilayhi. Ahsan tabu min nab barakallahu feekum. Mudafun ilayhi. Jayyid. So, this is referring to Ibn Hamidin. So, is the topic of discussion in this sentence Hamid and Yasif, or is it speaking about Hamid's son? Ibn Hamid and Yasir's daughter, Bintu Yasir. Is the topic here Hamid and Yasir? Or is it the Ibn and the Bint? Ahsan Yasin is the Ibn and the Bint. And the reason why Hamid and Yasir have been mentioned is to identify which Ibn, identify which Bint. So here again we have the next line Ibn Hamidin Jalisun wa bintu Yasirin wa Kifatun. This is lovely. All of so many rules that you can see gathered together in this one line. The first one is Hamzat al Wasad being used at the beginning of a line. You pronounce it. Not in this not as the case of the previous line, where it was between the words, so you didn't pronounce it here at the beginning, so you say Ibn Ibn. So then, because it's Mudaf, because it is uh, Mudaf, therefore it only has one Dhamma, and this one you can't see uh, the, the vowel endings, but what should it actually say? Hamidun, Hamidan or Hamidin. No, I should say Hamidin. Why? Because it is Mudafun Ilehi. Jayid. Ibn Hamidin. Jalisun. Now, somebody might ask, what's Jalisun? Why has it got two dhammas all of a sudden over here? What's the relevance of this and these two words? Look, my brothers. Let me take you back to that dars al if I'm not mistaken, it was the Dars of Thalith when we introduced Alif and Lam. And we said, Baytun al Baytu, Qalamun al Qalamu. You guys remember that? Okay. Babun al Babu, Kursiyun al Kursiyu. Jayid. Now, when we introduced those words and those uh, got constructs and having Alif al Lam and one Dhamma, uh, then it became clear why we were doing that, and that was because when you want to speak, give extra information about something, then that thing needs to be a specific object that you're speaking about. So if I'm telling you that the book is open, I can't speak generally, I can't say Kitabun Maftuhun, a book is open because you, know, you, have, you haven't really a added any extra information you not have, you have not had an impact on my life by telling me kitabun maftuhun whereas when you say al kitabu maftuhun the book is open ah uh, then you actually you made a difference to me now i know that uh, uh, it needs to be read or i need to close it or whatever it might be at least i can make a decision based on that information al qalamu Maksurun. The pen is broken. Now I know that I need to get a new pen. He just told me that. Al Kalamu Maksurun. Al Babu Maftuhun. So the door is open. Now I know I have to close the door. Or I need to walk out of the door. Whichever one is appropriate. My brother, so therefore, the second word in these two sentence combinations, in these two word combinations I was giving you. Al Babu Maftuhun. Look at that Maftuhun. Maksurun. All of these words they are explaining 
are giving an indication of the condition, the description of the previous word, of the noun. They're describing that previous word and they're giving, giving extra information about it. In this case, it's exactly the same. Although here, it looks like it's two words, Ibn Hamidin, well it is two words, but it's actually referring to only one of those two words. The other one is, is behaving like Alif and Lam. So which of these two words is behaving like Alif and Lam? And which word is the one which, one where the focus needs to actually be? I hope you're following my, my analogy here. Ibn Hamidin. Which of these two words is behaving like Alif or Lam? Hamid, absolutely, Jenei. Because that is the one which defined Ibn for us and told us which Ibn. So Yasin is not Ibn, it's actually uh, Hamid. Hamid is behaving like Alif or Lam because Hamid told us which Ibn we're speaking about. And Hamid is the reason why Ibn only has one Dhamma. Because Hamid is Mudafu ilayhi, so Ibn no longer needs to have two Dhammas. You don't need to say Ibnun. And you didn't need to say Kitabun or Kalamun. Because the moment you added it to somebody and you defined it, you said Kalamu al Mudarrisi. Kalamul Mudarrisi. Babul Bayti. The door that belongs to the house. So the second word is the one which is giving the that definitive factor, the thing which makes this noun definite. So really, it's like you're saying, Al Ibn Jalisun. The boy, the son, is sitting. And if someone says to you, which son? And you will say, <coughs> Ibn Hamidin. Hamid son. You understand, guys? So therefore, Al Ibn Jalisun. That is really what you have gained here. And similarly here. Wabintu Yasirin, you mean Al Bintu. Which bint? Yasir's bint. Yasir's daughter. Okay, now it's feminine. You talk about her, do you say Waqifun? Or do you say, do you say it differently because she's feminine? Because Mu'annath, as you can see in the text, you say it differently. You no longer say waqifun, as you may have said for the mudakkar, the masculine, but you say with the tamar muta at the end, waqifatun, waqifatun, standing. So now from the picture you know which one, who's who. Ibn Yasirin Jalison sitting, Wabnu Ibn Hamidin Jalison, Wabin Tu Yasirin Waqifatun. Are you not clear, my brothers? Jai. Man hadihi. That's an old one you said. Man hadha. Who is this? Now you're saying man hadihi. Or you said hadha talibun. This is a student. And now you're saying hadihi ukhtul muhandisi. Hadihi ukhtul muhandisi. Ukht means sister of. And there's one dhamma. Oh, there's no idea for them. Because, it's becoming obvious now, because it's Mubaf. Al-Muhandisi. Why only one Kasra, not two Kasras, whereas Hamidin, two Kasras, Yasirin, two Kasras. Why only, why am I reading one Kasra here? Ukhtul Muhandisi. Nam Yasin, Nam Junaid, absolutely, because of Arif Allah. So it originally only had one Dhamma. So that one Dhamma becomes one Kasra. Hadihi Ukhtul Muhandisi. And Al Muhandisu, this is a new word, which means engineer. Al Muhandis means engineer. Ahiya Aidan Muhandisatun. Wow. In this previous line, Hadi Ukhtar Mohandisi, who are we talking about? Are we speaking about the Mohandis or are we speaking about somebody else? Now 
نعم أخي أصير speaking about the sister that's why we didn't say هذا المهندس we said هذه because المهندس is just the one who's defining which sister we're talking about نعم أبو ميمون it's the sister أخت that's why we said هذه so هذه أخت المهندس so now the whole conversation the whole focus is on this this lady here this girl here the sister of the Mohandas, Jayyid. Ahiya, Ahiya, and you know Ahiya because that is the Indars al Rabi', which is the feminine way of uh, referring to somebody as opposed to Huwa, the pronoun. Ahiya, Aibun. This is a new word we're picking up over here, which means as well. Which in English you might put at the end of the sentence. In Arabic, you can put it the middle, middle, or the end. No problem. Ahiya Aiban. Now, the previous line said Muhandis. Here it says Muhandisatun. Why Muhandisatun? Obviously, because the discussion is about here, and he is referring to the Ukht. Ahiya Aiban Muhandisatun. She also. An engineer? Answer? La al jawab? La hiya? Tabibatun. Tabibatun. Adas al awwal. You had? Tabibun. Adas al asadis. You have the feminine. Tabibatun. Okay. We've seen this construction before. Sayyaratu. سيارة من هذه when he introduced مضاف من مضاف له this was in one of the sentences when the teacher was saying to Ali or to someone كتاب من هذا أو قلم من هذا whose book is this or whose pen is this سيارة من هذه whose car is this هذه سيارة المدير هذه سيارة المدير مدير means the, the dean or the principal or the headmaster هذه سيارة المدير this is the, the boss's car this is the manager's car, the boss's car, or the head guy's car. Any questions about the so far before we move on? Pick up on some new vocab here with some new words. Nikwatun. 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 And this is Mu'annaf. Feminine because it has tamar both on the end of it. If you have any questions, just go ahead and type them. Ma havihi. Ma havihi. What is this? Adihi mikwatun. Adihi mikwatun. This is a, an iron. Jayid. A new vocab. Some new concepts. Adaraja to Anas in Adihi. This is a new way of saying something you may, may possibly have seen the same uh, way of saying it in the previous uh, in the previous class in the previous Dars, Dars Rabi or Khamis. Adaraja to Anas in Hadihi. Which means, Ahadihi Darajatu Anasin, Ahadihi Darajatu Anasin, is this Anas's bike? Answer, La Hadihi Darajatu Ammarin, Hadihi Jadidatun. 
Now, you don't have to say, Hadihi darajatun jadidatun. You can just say, Hadihi jadidatun. Referring to it in this way. Because it is feminine, wa'annat. Also, you need to have the both when you're describing it. Wa darajatu anasin kadimatun. Wa darajatu anasin kadimatun. Jayid. We took the word Jadidun and Kadimun in the Dars al Rabi' and the Thalith possibly, and now you have them in the, the Mu'annat form. Adihi Sa'atu Aliyin. Here. هي جميلة جدا هي جميلة جدا now جدا is a new word for us first time it's appearing which means very and جميلة is the مؤنث of what's the word that appears similar word in the masculine form in the درس الثالث والرابع جميل أحسنت بارك الله فيك يا سيد هي جميلة جدا okay now so far it's been quite straightforward and easy to recognize مؤنث because every time you see تامر بوطة الراجة and بنت ساعة Every time you see those words, you know that this is Mu'annath because of the Amr But now, what we're going to introduce to you is some feminine words which do not actually carry a Amr But they are feminine because the Arabs considered them as feminine, as Mu'annath, and they referred to them in that way. So here's an example. هذه ملعقة This one here What is it? ملعقة ملعقة Now notice that there's an عين and a قاف in this word Okay? Spoon, بارك الله فيك أبو ميمون نعم إبراهيم And some people they get mixed up with this word and they start asking the wrong thing when they say, where's the malaika? Where are the angels? But they mean mil'aqa. The malaika is with a hamza and a kaf. Hamza, a, kaf, ka. And this is ayn, a, and qaf, qa, mil'aqa. And that one, mal'aka, or malaika. Okay. As a side note, as you know, people get mixed up in the language because of pronunciation. They call, they make a mix, they get confused between albun and kalbun, heart and dog, rajulun and rijlun, man and leg. And here's another example. People do get mixed up when they when they start saying this word mil'aqa for the first time. They start saying the wrong thing. So the word is mil'aqa, ain, qaf. ملعقة هذه ملعقة and now this is هذه because I'm a Buddha no problem straight forward هذه but this one the bowl or the pot the pot in which the, the porridge or the food is cooked is called قدرون قدرون and the Arabs refer to it in the Mu'annaf form even though there's no Tamar Buddha so you don't say وهذه قدرة we say, وَهَذِهِ قِدْرٌ So this is the first, uh, let's say, rule breaker. Where you really have to stop putting your focus into what you're reading 
And what you're saying, because it's no longer so straightforward that everything that's got Tamar Bota is Mu'annar and everything that hasn't got Tamar Bota is Mudakkar. That is masculine. Because now we've seen a masculine word, a word that looks masculine, because it has no Tamar Bota, but it's actually Mu'annar, feminine. So you al mil'aqatu fil qidri al mil'aqatu fil qidri the spoon is in the pot jayyid so introduce new vocab here al fallahu al fallah does anyone know what al fallah means Any, any offers? Barakallahu oh, feek, Ahsan. Ah, naam. Abu Maimoun, sahih. Actually, falah, falah means success. As you know in the Adhan, hayya ala al-falah. And this one, if you notice, there is a shadda on the lam. Let's try and zoom into that. Now, there's a shadda on the lam. It says, Al-Fallahu. And Al-Fallah, as uh, Naam the Bible mentioned, is the farmer. And in Junaid, Baqaratun, that's, that's cow. That's what the picture is referring to. But who's cow? Adihi Baqaratul Fallahi. Why is there no Alif or Lam? Even though there's only one Dhamma? Because Because brothers Naam Because it is mudaf, ahsan Allah alayk. Because it is mudaf. So how do you say this last word? The ha. Do you say hun, han, hin, or hu, or ha, or he? What do you say? The question why, why was why only one dhamma and no way for love? The Nadim MP said that because it's mudaf. And the answer over here is he, ahsantum. Allah, it would be for Allah in Abu Maimun if there was no Alif Allah. Since there's Alif Allah, the original word is Al Fallahu, and then that Hu just simply turns into He. Barakallah. Hada and Fun. Hada. Read with me, brothers, Anfun. Wahada Famun. Wahada Famun, the mouth, not the lips, the actual mouth itself, the whole mouth. Hada Anfun. Wahada Famun. Jayid. And what's being introduced now is body parts and what you're going to notice is some type of a rule developing let's see if you can pick up on it because we have some words now which are mu'anna though there's no alikullah so tell me what you think the rule might be Hada Anfun Wahada Tamun 
هذه أذن وهذه عين وهذه يد وهذه رجل Anyone want to offer the rule? Is there a rule that you can see developing? Have a fun No time about that? Jayid. But we already said that there are some words like Kidron, for example, that are Mu'annath and they don't have it in love. So that's clear. So, the, so Nadim is saying that it's uh, no time of the they're all masculine. But over here we say Hadihi, so it's not masculine. Udhanun is feminine, Mu'annath. Hainun is Mu'annath. Yadun is Mu'annath. Original is Mu'annath. So what's the rule? Can you find a rule here, guys? All end with Tanween. Sinead, they end with Tanween. True, but that's because there's no Alif Ullam. Nothing to do with Mu'annath or Mudakkar. Alif Ullam uh, is a separate thing. Not, nothing to do with Hadha or Hadi. So can you brothers think of a rule? Why this is Hadha and this is Hadha, whereas these are all Hadihi? The clue is in the last picture. Now, Mekhi Ibrahim, I'm not sure what you said. Akil? 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 Akil. You mean Akil because they are... I'm not sorry, Akil Kareem Ibrahim, I'm not sure what you mean. Any other, any want to explain the rule? Bismillah, Yasin, you got it, Alhamdulillah, what is it? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, Ibrahim, but this is also human being part. And is human being. This is human being. Ayo Yasin has the answer, alhamdulillah. So anything where there's only one part of in the body is masculine, is mudakkar. Anf, hadha, thumb, hadha. Whereas all of these, there are two, we have two ears, two eyes, two hands, two lips. So these parts are, are referred to as mu'annaf, they are hadhihi. Hadha anfun, hadha thamun. هذه أذن هذه عين هذه يد هذه رجل أحسنت يا سيد أبارك الله فيك ما شاء الله طيب الحمد لله نعمة Let's have a read of this. Okay. Who is going to take the mic and read these? I would like all the brothers to be able to read them, inshallah. Because this is an implementation of what we know. So I'd like to see your hands going up. So we can start giving you the mic. You can read these sentences smoothly, inshallah. Okay, Janaid, you got the mic, inshallah. Up by the, who's next? Assalamualaikum. Abu Maimu, you're on next. Hazam. Hazam Masjidun. Wahazam Mudarrisu. Wahazihi Mudarrisu. Mudarrisatu. Two Utun. 
بارك الله فيك لوك يا اخي جبيت هنا هذا مسجد بيلدينغ يمكن يسكن في مدرسه في نوتيتشا ومدرسه سكول اوري مدرسه في كونتكست فور ذا جو هير اجين يا اخي هذا مسجد وهذه مدرسة. Why only two and two? And this one? مدرسة تون. Why? Two. Why? مسجد. Uh, I think this also carries a tanwi. Okay. مسجد. هذا مسجد هذه مدرسة اقرأ سوري أعد إيريجان هذا مسجد وهذه مدرسة من هذه هذه أختي أباس. try again. هذه هذه أخت. why أختي؟ أباسون. Uh, I think I learned as uh, I read it as somewhere I saw it as أختي. اختي اختو اوكي اختو واي اختو واي نوت اختون ام اوكي اوف مضاف Um, because uh, okay. no alif, alif la. Just now you told me this is mudaf. So if this is mudaf, this has to be Abbasin. Abbasi. Abbasin. Oh, well. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Good try. 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 Abbasin, Abbasi. Now you have to choose. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. I'm in my own uh, trouble. Uh, uh -huh. I, I'm just uh, referring to my notes. So I'm uh, taking the case of uh, Ab hey, Abbasi. Just now you told me this is Abbasun, because now Ali Fulam. When you realize Mubaf, Mubaf only lady. <laughs> You said Abbas. Why? Right. You said Abbas. Let's see before that if there are two Dhamma, it becomes two Kasra. There's one Dhamma, it becomes one Kasra. Two becomes two. One becomes one. Yeah. One becomes two. One becomes one. Okay. So? Uh, in this case, it is. Uh, one kasra. Uh, and why so one kasra? Um, no, two kasra, two kasras. Abbasin. Right. There is no alif, okay. uh, alif lam. So, and uh, and uh, man hazihi hazihi Abbasin. Number three, Yaqi Kareem. Yes, you have the mic after Abu Memur, okay? Now, Yaqi, okay, number three, please. All right, number three, right? Have a date, day two. وهذه سجاد 
to no the jad yeah the jada tune. Nam brothers. This is vocabulary from the Dars al Awal or the Dars Thani. So again please Akia Bu Memun. So this word. Alright, had a a date. I'm gonna have trouble with that one. So I know what it is. It is, um, but I why is it cool? Vowel. D cool, right? Can you see how you can learn? Can you see him with off with the lady? No. Where? Yeah. Okay. No, there's no. Uh, so, so it would be. Uh, has a D. Oh, you can do it. I forget. I forget the rules. I'm sorry. All right, right. Ah, uh, let me remember. Hold on. Has a D. Has a D. Cool. 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 Right? Yeah. Well. D. Cool. Or D. Had a decoy. Okay, yeah. Sorry, vertical loss. We can have a decoy. What had he? The ja ja. Dun. Oh. Dun. Um. Dun. No, I didn't put none. Had a decoy. I gotta remember these rules. Had he the ja ja dun. Oh, yeah. Had a Mudiri, had he, he, oh, this is a tricky one. Um, because it would be like, what had he, not very close. Mudiri. This one is no Alif over here, it's no Hums of the Wassel. You read the board properly, completely. I mean, this one, you read this perfectly. Okay, so Okay, okay. All right. Wa hadhihi bintu mudir. Who's taking the I can remember that rule. I can remember the other one. lessons. <laughs> Don't take them lightly. There's a lot of a lot to learn in the foundation lessons. I always tell the brothers, you can master the first five lessons of this book, and inshallah the rest will be easy. Because everything that comes after the first five lessons, the first back to it. It's the foundation. You must go back. The vocabulary is important, and those basic rules are so important as well. Now, who's taking the mic, brothers? Back to Janaid. Yeah, since that he can't take it. Oh, we'll keep reading, please, until okay, we have a We have a hand. Okay, Nadim taking the mic. Okay. Alright. Go ahead, Akhir Kareem. Khamish. Go ahead, Akhir Kareem. Khamish. Hadihi Ummu Yasirin. Aina Kidr. Aina kidrulla, aina kidrulla hmi. Hiya fi salajati. Hatha, hatha babun wa hathihi nafidatun. This is a new word, my brothers. Nafidatun is a new word. It means window. Ajatun is this one here. Window. Good reading, brother Nadine. A lot of practice. Good advice. Maha. A lot of hands. So you have to ask. Ask the question correctly. I'm going to point. 
And you have to ask the question to you in the study. Another point? I'll start. And you have to ask the question to you in the study. I'll start. This one? Ahava. This one? Ready? You understand what you have to do? You have to say Mahada or Mahada. You understand what you have to do? Uh, the yeah, you the have question to say is not clear. Mahada or Mahadihi. Yeah, you have to say Mahada. Ahsanta Ahi Junaid. Barat Razid. So if I point to this one, you'll say Mahada. So if I point to this one, you'll say You have to say the question, which is Mahada. Have to say the question. Nah. What's the question here? What's the question here? Uh, uh, one second. Uh, What's the question? The question? the question is, as Junaid said, Mahamadihi. The question is, as Junaid said, Mahamadihi. Hada kitabun. What's the question? Hada kitabun. What's the question? Barakallah feek. Mahada. Question. Barakallah feek. Sahih. Junaid, I'm going to give you a mic on. Nadeem will ask you the questions, and then you will answer them. Okay? Nadeem will ask you the questions, and then you will answer them. Nadeem. 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 ما هذا؟ هذا بيت ما هذه؟ هذه ساعة ساعة أو ساعة ساعة جيد ما هذه؟ هذه سنتما ما شاء الله سنتما ما شاء الله ما هذه؟ هذه دراجة ما هذه؟ هذه سيارة سنتما ما هذا؟ ما هذا؟ هذا أنف هذا أنف جنيد هذا أنف جنيد لا هذا ما هذا نديم سيد ما هذا؟ ما هذا نديم سيد ما هذا؟ نعم نعم ما هذا؟ ما هذا؟ هذا من جيد جزاك الله خيرا Junaid, where are you located? Nadim, where are you located? Nadim, where are you located? I'm located in Nadim. What is that? Sorry. Nadim, Junaid? I'm from Kerala. Nadim, Junaid? Ustaz, I'm located in Amsterdam. Netherlands. Subhanallah. Amazing. Netherlands. The question is coming from Kerala. The answer is coming from Netherlands. Amazing. Allah. 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 Allah
Fathers, I want you to take it on to take this notes here. Okay? I would like you all to do homework. I want you to write you all according to these pictures here. I want you to write the question and the answer. <coughs> And also, I would like you to read and write down. I would like you to write your three age. Look at page question number three seven. Question number Muhammadun Alibun. Alibatun Alibun. Alibun Alibun. Alibun. What should it be? What should it be? Abi Batun. Abi Batun. Hua Muslimun. Hia Hua Muslimun. Hia Muslimun. Bikma. Muslimun. Okay, we we'll have to go now. It's time for salah. Time for the classes up. May Allah subhanahu wa taala bless you all. Jazakum Allah khairan. May Allah give us sincerity of purpose and keep us on the straight path and aid us in learning this beautiful language, language of the Quran. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiin Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.